the Ginza, Tokyo's famous shopping street. It's a scene of hectic activity at the heart of the dynamic Japanese economy, a world of big business and high technology. Amid all the bustle, though, there's still time for the occasional smile. It's an especially happy time for dogs, because 1982 is the year of the dog. In Japan, people still pay attention to the ancient Chinese calendar with a 12-year cycle named after animals, like the cockerel, snake, rat, and monkey. Dog year people should be loyal and honest, good at keeping secrets. But they can also be selfish, stubborn, and wildly eccentric. One thing certain, 1982 will give a boost to all dog year people and to all dogs, too. Outside Shibuya Station in Tokyo is Hachiko Plaza, one of the capital's best-known meeting places. It's named after Japan's most famous four-legged hero, Hachiko, the faithful dog. He came to this spot day after day to meet his master and kept on coming for years after the man's death. Touched by this loyalty, animal lovers arranged for Hachiko to be preserved in a Tokyo museum. There are other examples besides Hachiko of the Japanese love for dogs. Here are also preserved two Karafutos, a traditional Japanese breed. They were the sole canine survivors of an Antarctic expedition in 1957 after the dog team had to be abandoned in the icy wastes. There are statues in their memory too. spring blossom in a garden of remembrance. People come here to pay their respects to departed loved ones of the four-legged variety. The cemetery has its resident Buddhist priest because the Buddhist religion encourages practices like this. The teaching is that humans are at the center of a circle of life which includes all animals. Even insects have souls and any of us could appear in a previous or a future life in a form other than human. No expense is spared on the headstones, and the deity is sometimes offered money, too. A special shrine contains the remains of cremated pets. The ashes are kept in elaborate urns, and there are often several of these from one family. Into the classroom now, and attentive students are listening to a lecture on dogs. The Japanese love of dogs means that there's a whole range of jobs open to young people who are interested in animals. There's an animal medical center offering a wide range of specialist treatment for pets with health problems. You make an appointment just like at a regular health center, and the staff give individual attention. Perhaps the patient has a weight problem and isn't taking enough exercise. Here, they have ways of making you jog. Dogs, like their owners, can suffer from heart attacks. And so regular checkups are advisable using the latest techniques that medicine can offer, and that includes a cardiograph. 
This dog may not appreciate the fact, but he's getting expensive treatment here. Countless Japanese pet owners spare no expense when it comes to their dumb friends, and a growing number of businessmen are aware of it. The owners are offered an ever-growing range of pet goods and accessories to spend their money on. With all the poverty in the world, it may seem a ridiculous waste of money, but animal lovers insist it's not just a luxury. They form a deep attachment to their pets and regard them as members of the family. The pet shops import a lot of their goods, which include shampoos, vitamins, high-protein foods. Something, apparently, for every taste. But no pre-packaged food can compare with a sit-down meal. That's an irresistible attraction. The restaurant owner first offers his expert opinion on which meal would be best for the customer, the four-legged one, that is, because only dogs are served here. People told the restaurateur he was crazy when he opened here in 1973, but he's proved them wrong. Business has flourished ever since. This customer, for one, keeps coming back. After a day's shopping and walking around town, a visitor soon gets tired. So why not check into a hotel? A hotel especially for pets. First, relax to some quiet music. There's room service, of course, and a nourishing menu to choose from. It includes beef with fried vegetables, cheese, eggs, and milk. And enjoy it. One night here costs 10,000 yen, about $50. After the meal, a little intimacy, perhaps. The cat disapproves, too. For the more spiritually minded dog, Shigenori Masuda and his Japan trimming school offer a course in yoga. A much more conventional scene, the poodle parlor. This is the Yamakazi College, where girls take a course in grooming. The first stage is a shower and shampoo. Today's pampered pets can consider themselves fortunate that times have changed. In the Edo period in the 17th century, there was a common belief that the spirit of a dog could help people defend themselves against evil and misfortune. It was the custom to cut off dogs' heads and bury them, for example, under crossroads. Travelers then believed they would be protected on their journey by the dog's spirit. What a different dog's life today. It's more like a film star's treatment. A typical scene in one of the pet shops that are doing such a good trade especially in the year of the dog. The fancy clothes, the glittering jewelry, are all brought out for inspection. And they're not for the lady, they're for the pet. <laughs> Some words of advice, little dog. Enjoy this while you can. 1983 will be the year of the pig. 